today by the grace of the Lord, we shall listen to our pastor, General Superintendent, Pastor W.F. Kumoyi. You are going to be blessed. It is my wish that you call your family to come and listen to you as our pastor is blessing you with his holiness message. Be blessed. And I've been talking about Christ as mediator. Christ as advocate. To the S in that Christmas. Father, we thank you. Father, we exalt you. Our creator and the power that holds the whole universe. Lord Jesus, Son of God, Savior, our supply and sustainer, we exalt you today. Holy Ghost, the power of God in man. We are asking today that you shed light into every heart and draw your people unto Christ the Savior. Magnify him. Exalt him. And help us to recognize who Jesus is and what he means to us. We well, thank you because we know you are here. And you are going to perfect your work in every heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. As we talk about Christ. Number one, we are spoken about the expected Christ. The Messiah. Everybody waiting for him. And eventually he came. As you expect that Christ. Our Messiah, our Redeemer. He comes according to your expectation. Number two was spoken about the exalted Christ. Our advocate. We were the accused people. The accuser followed us every day. And the prosecutor prosecuted us. We were brought before the judge. The judge of all the earth. We stood there silent and condemned. Then comes the advocate. Then comes our defender. Then comes the intercessor. That came to plead for us. He showed his pierced hand. He showed his riven side. And because he suffered, he says we don't have to bear the same suffering again. And because of the advocate, we were acquitted and Justified. Now we are free. And today we now talk about the excelling Christ. The one that is higher than every man. He holds a place in the highest. The excelling Christ, the Savior 
of the world. They say the of the world in every generation. He excels every personality that has ever lived. And because of his unique special quality, he is the savior of the world. Christmas without the mediator, the Messiah, will amount to nothing. Christmas without the advocate will mean nothing. And Christmas without the Savior. The Savior of your family. The Savior of your community. The Savior of the whole of creation. Christmas without the Savior will be meaningless. That's why we come to celebrate. That's why we have, we come to heed the call by the excelling Christ. The Savior, the Savior, the Savior, the Savior for everyone in the world. As we look at the pronouncement of the people that Ma met Christ. And we look at the recognition and the identification of Christ. The people in Samaria in John chapter 14 verse 42 he said now we believe that this is the savior of the world and then we are told in Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 8 it says there is one higher than the highest. In the history of humanity, you have come across high people. There is one higher than the highest. You have come across great people. There is one greater than the greatest. And because he has that position. And because he feels that position. He excels them all. Higher than the angels. Higher than all men. And he offers to be your savior. The savior of everyone on earth. That's why we're talking about him today. And we're not just talking about him. We're presenting him to you. Whatever experience you've got between the, from the time you were born until this day, there is a greater experience coming from Christ coming to you. When Christ comes to you, as the expected one, when Christ comes to you, as the exalted one, when Christ comes to you, as the excelling one, and, and you give him that position. Higher, greater than anything you have ever given yourself to. He comes to your life. He takes over your life. He takes over your life. He your 
the power of God in your life. Indu kana ga ayna me jivi tolo raksha kudu raksha kudu prabhu wo matra me ga dumi jivi tamula ayna devuni shakti. There are many things what to say about the Savior. Hero do raksha guru guni chane ke maina sangat tolo manam teris ko wal. Two, three, tonight. Kati rendu mudu anna tege ratri dhyanan chesta. About the savior of the world. Loka rakshakuni gurinchi dhyanan chesta. About the savior of your soul. Aina mi atma ko rakshakuni ga unna. About your savior in time and eternity. Alage kalamu lono kala paridi velu pala nityatthomu lono rakshakude. Number one. Modeti di. He is the sacrificial lamb. For all sinners, I na sakala papula ko koda baliyar pana gorre ayunar. The sacrificial lamb for all sinners. Sakala papula ko I na baliyar pana korke na gorre pilla ayunar. All sinners in the world. Lokamulo papula na badi ne varig ayunar. All sinners in every nation. Prati deshamulo yavare na papula ko na padi. All sinners everywhere. At all times. Anni kalamalalo yekkada yavaru papu ga unna sare. This exceeding Christ is the sacrificial lamb for all sinners. Achuna thamai na prati pagala yeh Christu prati papi ki bali arpana gorre pelaga unna na yunar. Number two, he is the supernatural liberator. For from all sicknesses. रेंडा वधिका सकला रोगमुदा नुनची स्वातंत्र्य अनि कलिगिंची बिड़िपिंचे प्रकृति का तीतमायना वाड़ा येना. The sickness everywhere. एक कडूना रोगमुंदी. Sickness in every village or town. प्रति ग्रामोलो नगरालो रोगालो नहीं. Sickness in every city or country. प्रति देशनलो पद्धा पटनालो रोगालो नहीं. And this Christ. आयते ये क्रिस्ट. Does not only save our soul. आयना मना प्राणात्मल रक्षिण चले में he also heals our sicknesses. He liberates. He sets free. He breaks every yoke of sickness in every life. His liberation is supernatural. There is the natural. But there is the supernatural. Kani prakruti stai katita mai nu nai. And as the heavens are higher than the earth. Iyo kabumi kante akas mela unna tamga unna do. So the supernatural in the same way higher. Than the natural. Alagya prakruti ka tita mai nevi koda prakruti sambandha mai na vadi kante adhika mai na vayunai. Yes, we receive help in the natural. Aunu manam prakruti paridilo chuchina pudu. Or supernatural. Prakruti ka tita mai na vardhanya skunde galu ka. Higher than the heavens. Avani yu koda paralo kapu leka akas samastai ke minchi na bi. Yesu Christu. This savior. Yi rakshakudu. This liberator. Yi akka swatantrimi chuvadu. Is supernatural liberator from all sicknesses. Sakala rogamala nundi prakruti ka tita maneri tulo vidala ichu vadu. The savior we are talking about. Irozu ayne guru chhima sare kudna. Number three is the saving Lord of all sincere seekers. Sridhaga yedru chuchu variki ayna rakshana ichu prabhu. There's a vacuum in every heart. Aina prati hrudi mulo ala chesta. There's a longing in every life. Yedur tuche prati jivito ala chesta. When God created us, Devudu manali endu ko srujin chhed. He left a vacuum, a seat only for Himself. Aya na thana ko thana ko thana pradulu ko bailu parchukarne kisto padto manali srujin chhed. There's a reason we're seekers. Andu kosme manu yedur tuche variga unda. There's a vacuum in your life. Me jivito mulo ka sunya mundi. There is an empty place in your heart me for them look a car is tell a mundi that only the savior can feel I have a car is tell on me raksha guru matra men never gonna look about him today and the key rose enemy to my clear to know you say yes I see I feel that vacuum me you're gonna call a sunny and an impala to call it that emptiness a car is still on an impala to call it now I understand he put in our done yes good time is the place in my heart in my soul in my life Life that nothing else can feel satisfactorily except Jesus, the excelling Christ, the Savior, 
comes to feel that vacuum. Na hrudaya mulo nu prana mulo nu jivita mulo unna kali stala maina sunyani raksha gora na Yesu Kristu matra me nimpagaladu. And when you give him the opportunity, mir ayne ka vakasam iste. He becomes your saving Lord as a sincere seeker. ఆయన ఎదురు చూచే వారందరికి కూడా రక్షణ అనుగ్రహించు ప్రభు అయి ఉన్నారు ఒక్కొక్కటిగా ధ్యానం చేద్దాం సకల పాపుల కొరకు ఆయన బలి అర్పణ గొర్రె పిల్ల అయి ఉన్నాడు కొంతమంది మేము పాపులము కాదు అంటారు అది ఎలా ఉంటుందంటే మోసకరమైన నిర్ణయం చేసుకుని నటించినట్లుగా ఉంటుంది ఒక పురుషుడు గాని ఆ నేను స్త్రీని అంటే ఎలా ఉంటుంది ఒక అబ్బాయి నేను అబ్బాయిని కాదు అమ్మాయిని అంటే ఎలా ఉంటుంది the identity of that person vaallu ala ananta matrana vaari yokka uniki gurtimpu marchapadadu somebody says the earth is flat konta antaru kada mem emi kaamule endi ani no the earth is round aithe vaaru devuniki kumarulu kada what you say mere em cheptunnaru what you see mere em aalochana chestunnaru how you identify yourself mimmunu meer ela gurtinchukuntunnaru does not change the reality ఆ యొక్క గుర్తింపు మీకు మీరు ఇచ్చుకుంటే వాస్తవికత మారదు వాస్తవికత ఏమిటంటే మీరు పాపి అయి ఉన్నారు వాస్తవికత ఏమిటనగా అందరూ పాపము చేసి దేవుడు అనుగ్రహించు మహిమను పొందలేకపోతున్నారు పాపులైన వారు వివిధ రకాల పరిమాణాల్లో వారి పాప జీవితంలో కొనసాగుతున్నారు చిన్న పాపం చిన్న పాపులు కొద్ది పాపమే అయినా అతడు కూడా పాపియే and wherever you are coming from meer ekkad nunchi ochina sare whoever you are ee evaraina nu sare the bible tells us that you are a sinner parishuddha grantham selavis there's only one sacrifice aithe aina manaku balarpana ayi unnadu get you out of your sin and come in favor with god adi mimmunu paapamulo nunchi baidiki teesukochi devuni anugrahaniki daggara chestundi and it is a sacrifice of that unique sacrifice of lord lamb that is the sacrificial lamb atti bali arpana chesina gorra pilla paapaniki pariharam chesi prabhu ku mimmalu daggara chestadu and is for everyone ayana andari koraku there is no american lamb america gorra pillam kotledu european lamb european lamb ledu indian lamb bharat deshaniki gorra pillam ledu asian lamb asia ku ke lamb ledu the same savior ayana andariki oke rakshakudu same sacrifice on the cross of calvary ayana kaluvaru silva meeda gorra pillaga pranam pettadu was for all offered for every sinner prati paapi kosam okka pariyayame bali arpana ayyadu same lamb adi paapa bali sacrificial lamb aine tyagapu bali arpana gorra pilla from your life and take you away and save you from all your sin aina mi jeevithamlo kochi sakala paapamulo nunchi memmunu veliki teesukochi rakshistharu the sacrificial lamb for sinners sakala paapulo koraku bali arpana korakaina gorra pilla look at this revelation ఇప్పుడు ఈ ప్రత్యక్షతను చూడండి తదుపరి రోజున యోహాను యేసు రావడాన్ని చూస్తున్నాడు మీ జీవితంలో మహిమవంతమైన రోజు మీ జీవితంలో ఆశ్చర్యమైన రోజు మీరు యేసు రావడాన్ని చూసినప్పుడు ఆయన అప్పటికే లోకానికి వచ్చాడు అద్భుతమైన రోజు మీరు ఆయన చూసినప్పుడు అద్భుతమైన రోజు మీరు చూసినప్పుడు coming on to you bali arpana gorra pilla mi yottaku raavadam meeru chusinappudu and it says the second day john see jesus ikkada yohanu cheptunnadu yesu nu chusiyunnan coming on to him edigo na yaddu kaina ostunnaru and if heaven has favored you ఆయన మీకు అనుకూలంగా 
that at such a day like this you see with the eyes of your mind Jesus the Savior coming unto you what joy you ought to have what excitement you ought to have and what readiness you ought to have that Jesus left heaven and Jesus spotted you out. And now you see Jesus coming unto you. And then he said, Behold the Lamb of God. Not the Lamb of man. Not the Lamb of society. It is the Lamb chosen by God. And John recognized that. When you recognize that Jesus is the Lamb Chosen of God. Appointed by God. And sent by God unto you. Behold. That's what behold means. Stop every other thing you are doing. Suspend every consideration you have. Let your whole mind. Let your whole personality. Let everything within you. Behold and concentrate on this lamp of God. It's a that time in your life when you behold when you stop every other activity when you think of Jesus and Jesus alone you behold and as you look at him the revelation comes from God that is the lamb the sacrificial lamb I said to save you. That is the very source and the origin and the author of your salvation. We hear many things. Unless your heart concentrates on him. And you behold him. And you gaze on him. And you believe in him. And you behold and see his uniqueness. Behold and see his readiness. The readiness to save you. And then you say what a great moment. He comes to me. I come to him. And you surrender. Your heart. Your life. Your past. Your present, your future, you behold Him. And that leads you to believe Him. You behold Him. And that leads you to belonging unto Him. The Lamb of God. Which Take it away. Which take it away. If you don't behold him, you don't behold the sacrifice. You say, I believe in Christ. When you truly believe in Christ, he comes to your life and he takes evil away. 
ఆయన వచ్చి మీ జీవితంలో చెడంతా తీసివేస్తాడు ఆయన ప్రవేశిస్తారు అంధకారం అంతా తొలగించబడుతోంది ఆయన ప్రవేశిస్తారు అప్పుడు దేవుని కృప మీలో ప్రవేశిస్తుంది కృప ప్రవేశిస్తుంది will leave your life apudu krupa rahityam antha mee jeevithalo velli potundi it comes and it takes away aina vachi danni tholaginchestaru it comes seen and it takes away aina loniki vachi vanni tholaginchestaru it takes away the seen of the world aina loka paapamulanu tholaginchi vestaru it did it at calvary aina danni kaluvar siluvalo chesaru now he does it for every creature that believes in him aithe ippudu ayana ayanendu vishwasam unchina prathi srushtamu kosamu chestunnadu that's why we here andu chethane manam ikkadu unnam to exalt the excelling christ ayaka prathibagala christunu hechinchadaniki the saving christ rakshinche christu the christ that comes to take away Manak all your sin me paapalanni tholaginchi vedaniki vachina christu ayana and you know it takes away your sin me paapalu meer gurtinchara when something had been occur pain in a place and now somebody comes and takes away that thing the place is empty edaina oka sthalanni aakraminchukoni unnappudu evaraina apadarthalu akka nunchi tholaginchi vesinappudu akkadantha kuda khali pradesham erpadutundi when he takes away the sin aina paapanni teesi vesinappudu the sin will no more be there ikka meedra paapam akkada undadu when he takes away the sinful nature paapa swabhavanni teesi veste the sin will not be there again ikka marla paapam akkada undane undadu when he takes away the sinful habit ni paapa balavatlane tholaginchinappudu that sinful habit will not be there again ikka paapa balavadu marala akkada undadu when he takes away the sinful action ayaka paapa bu charyalanni tholaginchinappudu that sinful action will not be there again ikka marala paapa bu charya meelo undadu yes made the sacrifice avunu aayana bali arpana chesadu perfect sacrifice pari poornamaina bali arpana an acceptable sacrifice angikara yogyamaina bali arpana ready sacrifice for you na ippudu mee korakai samsiddhamayunna bali arpana all you have to do ee rojuna meer em cheyali look away from every the see prati itara karyalu nunchi drushti mallinchukovali the lamp of god idigo devuni gorra pilla take us away the seen of the world sakala manavali paapamulu tholaginchi vayi gorivuni gorra pilla that the sacrificial lamp for you adi mee korakaina bali arpana gorra pilla the sacrificial lamp for sinners adi sakala paapalu kosamaina bali arpana korakaina gorra pilla today see him come ఈ రోజున ఆయన రావడాన్ని మీరు చూడండి get ready to receive him as he comes to you ఆయన మీ చెంతకు వస్తుండగా స్వీకరించడానికి మీరు సిద్ధం కండి and then you are thanking the lord మీరు దేవునికి వందనాలు చెప్తుండగా the lamb who died for me has come to me and i open my heart and i receive him and life will not be the same again na korakai maraninchina gurra pilla na yeddu kostu undaga nenu ayane swikariste na jeevithamu munu pattivale ikka undane undadu number 2 rendavadi this lamp of god ee devuni gurra pilla is also our life bridge mana yokka jeevithaniki swatantriyanni istharu this lamp of god ee devuni gurra pilla the supernatural life bridge from all sicknesses prakriti ka teetha mani vithalo sakala rogalu nunchi vidudala istharu remember once again marla gurtu cheskondi natural like britos prakriti paramaina vidudali chevaru untaru they have some limited help they can offer varu parimitamaina sahayam cheyagalaru but the supernatural like brito kani prakriti ka teethamaina vidudali chuvadu as a heaven sa higher than the earth ayana ee bhoomi meda prathi dannu cheyagalaru so supernatural is higher than the natural kanuka prakriti ka teethamaina vaadu ganaka prakriti paridini minchina vaadu and he is a supernatural like brito ayana prakriti ka teethamaina vidudalanu anugrahin galigina vaadu the many sicknesses today ee roju anekamaina rogalu unnai that were not in the world 100 years ago 
కొంతకాలం క్రితం అయితే ఇప్పుడున్న రోగాలు అప్పుడు లేవండి That's why research keeps on going. Andu chethne rogala gurinchi parishodhana jarugutune undi. Because all the past knowledge of liberators the past knowledge is not in all. Gata kalapu vidudulu anugrahinchi varikuna gnanam prasthuta kalamulo saripodu. But the liberator of all time. Kaani anni kalamulalo vidudalichu vaadu. The liberator of every century. Prathi sekamulo vidudalichu vaadu. The liberator in the past is the one in the present and is the one in the future gatamulo vidudalichina vaadu vartamanamulo vidudalistunna vaadu bhavishyathulo kuda vidudalivagaladu chethulu paiki chaapi chapadagodtu devuniki mahima chelliddam jesus christ the same yes christ today, today and forever ninna nedu nirantaramu maarpu levu devuni mahima chelliddam if the life bridge of natural life bridge of 100 years ago iyokka vidudalichu vaadu 100 samvatsaralu kritham ella unnado if he was to come today ఆయన ఈ రోజు రావాలనుకుంటే అండ్ దెన్ ఇట్ సేస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు హెల్ప్ యు ఇన్ యువర్ సిక్నెస్ ఆయన అంటున్నాడు నీ రోగంలో నేను నీకు సహాయం చేస్తాను నో హాస్పిటల్ వర్ యాక్సెప్ట్ హిమ్ టు టచ్ ద పేషెంట్స్ వంద సంవత్సరాల క్రితం వైద్యుడు ఎవరైనా వచ్చి ఈ కాలప్రోగిని బాగు చేస్తానంటే ఏ హాస్పిటల్ వారిని అంగీకరించరు ది నాలెడ్జ్ ఆఫ్ హీలింగ్ హి హాస్ 100 ఇయర్స్ అగో ఇస్ నౌ అవుట్ వంద సంవత్సరాల క్రితం ఉన్న వారికి ఉన్న వైద్య పరిజ్ఞానం ఈ రోజు సరిపోదు వారు ఆధారపడి ఉన్న వైద్య జ్ఞాన గ్రంథాలన్నీ కూడా ఈ రోజున కాలానుగుణంగా అభివృద్ధి చెందాయి is now outdated one the samasral kritham unna rogalanu manam chusukunte ee roju unna rogalato polchukunte aa perlu kuda perigi poyayi there is a liberator aithe oka vidudalu icche vaadu unnadu that is never outdated ayana eppadiki outdated kaadu he is a deliverer ayana vidudalu icche vaadu that is never outdated ayana eppudu kaalamu chellipodu because he is supernatural endukante aayana prakrutika deethamaina vaadu and that supernatural life breath comes to you today prakrutika deethamaina vaadi roju nam yoddaku ostunnadu and he says whatever the name of your sickness aayana antunnadu nee rogam peru edaina sare whatever the nature of your sickness nee roganiki unna swabhavam edaina sare whatever the uh, present situation and all the things associated with your sickness he says i'm here the same yesterday today and forever prasutha kalamu ni kunna rogamu dani paryavasana paristhitulu ee roju elago unna sare ninna nedu repu nirantaramu maarpu lekunda baagu cheyagala vaadanu ni yoddaku ostunnan antunnadu look at matthew chapter 8 matthew swartha 8th adhyayam chudandi from verse 16 16th vachana nunchi manam chuste in matthew chapter 8 verse 16 matthew swartha 8th 16th and when the evening was come sayankalam ainappudu they brought unto him వారు ఆయన ఎదుగు తీసుకొచ్చారు అనేక మంది దురాత్మలతో పట్టబడ్డ వారు తీసుకురాబడ్డారు ప్రకృతి సంబంధమైన వారి దగ్గరికి వెళ్లారు కానీ పరిష్కారం లేదు but he grew worse prakriti paramaina vidudulu icche variki dhanam chellincharu gani prayojanam ledhu that sort hell variki sahayam kosam chuchcharu kani prayatnincharu vari meeda vishwasam unchcharu and the problems was still hanging on their necks aina aa samasyalanni varito alage undipoyayi and then they heard anduke var antunnaru jesus has come yesu vachadu ani vinnaru jesus has come yesu vachadu the savior rakshakudu the healer స్వస్థ పరిచేవాడు విడుదల ఇచ్చేవాడు సొల్యూషన్ టు ఎవ్రీ ప్రాబ్లం ఆన్ అర్త్ భూమి మీద ప్రతి సమస్యకు పరిష్కారమైన వాడు అండ్ హి డిడ్ వాట్ ఎవ్రీ రీజనబుల్ పర్సన్ హు ఇస్ లుకింగ్ ఫర్ హీలింగ్ అండ్ లుకింగ్ ఫర్ డిలివరెన్స్ వాట్ దట్ పర్సన్ విల్ డియర్ అండ్ హి బ్రాట్ దేమ్ to Jesus. ఏ కారణంతోనైనా విడుదల పొందవలసి ఉన్న వారు ఆయన కోసం ఎదురు చూస్తూ వచ్చినప్పుడు అట్టి వ్యక్తులకు యేసు విడుదలను అనుగ్రహించాడు. And he talks about 
the various areas of their problems. They were those who were possessed with devils. They were those who were depressed by devils. They were those who were tormented by devils. Tormenting their prey. ప్రకృతి పరమగా విడుదల the field is so wide. You have to specialize. And when you bring somebody possessed with devils to them, they say, no, that's not my area of specialty. వారు ఆ విధానముల ఎంత నైపుణ్యత గల వారు ప్రత్యేకించబడ్డవారైనా దురాత్మల చేత పట్టబడ్డవారిని తెస్తే ఇది నా వల్ల కాదు అంటారు ఆయన ప్రతి పరిస్థితికి యజమాని అయిన వాడు ఆయన దురాత్మల చేత పట్టబడ్డ వారితో అంటున్నాడు with his word aina tana vaakku cheta duratmalanu vella gotti vesadu he didn't even have to touch them aina vanni taakalsina pani kuda ledu with his word tana vaakku cheta his word is a powerful as himself aina vaakku aina enta shaktivantamaindi the word of any man ye narini maata kante nu is a powerful as himself aina vaakku shaktivantamainadi and the supernatural liberator prakriti vidalame vithulo vidalichu vaadu this word is supernatural aina prakriti ka deethamaina vaadu against the spirits aina du ayokka duratmalato cheptunnadu the sickness a rogalu chustunnadu against the devil duratmalaku viruddhanga chustunnadu against the disease vyadhulaku viruddhanga chustunnadu he cast them out by his word ayan antunnadu kada cheppabadina maata prakaram tana vaakku tho vella gotte and he healed all that was sick ayana rogam tho unna vaaru andarini swastha parachadu does it matter is it cancer he healed all ayana cancer aina swastha parachesadu is it deformity he healed all avayava nirmana lopamaina swastha parachadu is it hearing problem he healed all vinikade samasya unna varandarni swastha parachadu is it their sight they are blind he healed all dushti leni varaste varandarni swastha parachadu did they have broken bones he healed all virigana yemukalato unna varandarni swastha parachadu and they lame paralyzed or impotent he healed all kutti varu gaani pakshavadam tho unna varu gaani samarthyam leni gaani varni vani swastha parachadu and remember once again aina marala chesadu is supernatural prakrutika teethamaina karyam above the natural nenu prakruti sthayi ni minchina vaadu remember once again aina marala cheptunnadu time century or decades do not affect the supernatural nyapakam chestu unnanu kaalamu gaani kaala paridhi gaani prakrutamaina daanini niyantrinchaledu what he did before he does again today aina gathamulo chesin daan ee roju marala cheyagaladu and is here ఆయన ఇక్కడ ఉన్నారు ముగ్గురు నా నామం పెరట చేరి ఉంటారు వారి మధ్యలో ఉంటానన్నారు ఆయన అంటున్నాడు నన్ను పిలవండి ప్రకృతి అతీతమైన విడుదల ఇచ్చే వారి శక్తిని గుర్తించండి he will answer aina manam inkanu maatladutu undagane jawab ichestadu ask and it shall be given unto you adi meek anugrahinchabadi unnadi antunnadu it says seek and you will find aina antunnadu kada meer vedakandi meeku dorukutundi knock and the door will be open unto you tattandi talupu meekosam theravadutundi and he is the liberator 
that is impartial. He does not discriminate. And tonight, wherever you are, seated or standing, the supernatural liberator will come to deliver you and heal you tonight in Jesus' name. Look at verse 17. In verse 17, he says, He does all that, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. But the head of Chiran and Manchinapuru, Yeshaya, Dwara, Palakabadina, Martla Prakaram, I am a man of Rogamula, Vahinchen and a Mata Prakaram, I am a war in his first Bear our sicknesses. I am a man of Rogalu Barinchad. The word bear means to take away. He takes away sin. He takes away sickness. And he says he does that. That it might be fulfilled. Not because of how you feel. Not because of how you feel. He liberates because he comes to fulfill. He heals because he came to fulfill. He delivers because he came to fulfill. He made a promise. It was given to us in prophecy. And the promise and the prophecy becomes a performance. Because he has come to fulfill. And tonight, as we pray, in that excelling day, tonight, as we pray, in that supernatural liberator, he will take your sickness away. He will take all the diseases away. At the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Number one. Is a sacrificial lamb. And that sacrificial lamb is for all sinners. Number two is a supernatural liberator. A supernatural liberator from all sicknesses. Number three is the saving Lord. The saving Lord. Lord of all sincere seekers. We get that word saving from save. And that word save is very deep and very high. You fall into a well. And the person who pulls you out saves you from drowning. You fall into a pit. No food. You are being suffocated today. The person who comes to draw you out, he saves you. Your mind, your heart is falling into a trap. And that trap is a kind of taking breath out of you. The one that comes to relieve you from that trap. He saves you from the trap. Your life is upside down. 
and your feet are up. You're confused. What am I going to do? The one who comes to set you right, he saves you from that confusion. The one who is saved is used like that in the Bible. He saves from sin. He saves from sickness. It saves from demonic power. It saves from darkness. It saves from evil. He is the saving Lord. He is Lord. I am a Prabhu. Lord of heaven and earth. And he walks into a situation. The situation, they recognize him, everything becomes calm. There is storm on the sea of your life. There is storm on the sea of your life. Master, master, save us or we perish. He rises up and he won't work. Peace be still. Everything is calm. The saving Lord comes to you today. In all His power. In all His authority. And He saves you from sin. Because you are a sincere seeker. I've tried by myself. I've read all the books I can read. I've applied the philosophy that I could lay my hands on. And I'm still seeking. He says, now you've come to the final liberator. He comes at the saving Lord to save you tonight. I am not I put you in the rock. She probably the cool. Jagger to go with a good to watch it late. I am not in the rock. She's there. I read all the books. I listened to the authorities of past years to be free from my bad habits and to be conscious that he is peaceful. I applied all the principles of the philosophy. I find myself still defeated. I'm seeking. Sincere seeker. You come to the Lord today. All that you have been seeking for, you now have in Christ. Forgiveness and Christ in Christ. Peace of mind in Christ. The deliverance in Christ. Redemption in Christ. When you miss him, you're Lord in Christ. When you make him your Lord and Savior. You say, all that Lord's have had authority over me. All the powers have had authority over me. But now today, I come with all sincerity. And I come to the Savior of the world. And I believe He died for me. I believe He rose again for me. And I now make Him the Lord and the Master the control, the director of my life. Become the saving Lord for you. Because I am a sincere seeker. In Romans chapter 10 verse 9. Romans chapter 10 verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. And there's the moment. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. 
ప్రభు అయిన యేసును నోటితో ఒప్పుకుంటే మీ యొక్క హృదయములో విశ్వసిస్తే God raised him from the dead. దేవుడు ఆయన్ని మృతుల్లో నుంచి లేపాడని the heart the mouth. మీ హృదయంతో నోటితో any time you hear anybody talk ఎవరైనా మాట్లాడ మీరు వింటున్నప్పుడు he says what's in his heart. మీరు ఆయన హృదయములో ఏ ముందు గమనిస్తారు if he says something wrong ఏదైనా పొరపాటుగా చెప్తే that's what's in heart. ఇదిగో అతని హృదయంలో లేదు go to school స్కూల్కి వెళ్తాను i have a lot of knowledge in the head ఆ యొక్క బొర్రలో బోల్డ్ జ్ఞానం ఉంటుంది but he doesn't behave and talk like what's in the head కాని వారి బొర్రలో ఉన్న జ్ఞానానికి తగిన రీతిలో వారు మాట్లాడరు ప్రవర్తించరు he always speaks with the mouth what's in the heart ఎల్లప్పుడూ కూడా హృదయము నిండి ఉండు దాని బట్టి నోరు మాట్లాడుతోంది when a sincere seeker నేను జాగృతగా వెదకితే holds christ ఇదిగో క్రీస్తును వెదకితే sacrificial lamb ఆయన త్యాగం కోసం నాకు తెలుసు ఇప్పుడు నేను రక్షకుని కనుగొన్నాను వారి హృదయంలో విశ్వసిస్తే is what you confess what your mouth meer hrudayamulo denneite vishwasistharo danne mi nodito oppukuntaru and it says the moment you believe it in your heart ayan antunadu mee hrudayamulo ye kshanana vishwasistharo you confess him what your mouth mi nodito danne ippudaithe oppukuntaro that he is now lord on rivals in your life ayana ippudu mi jeevithamulo aadhipatyamu gala prabhu ga unnadu lord without a rival ఆయన మన జీవితంలోకి రాకుండా మీరు ఆయన రాగానే మీ జీవితాన్ని సమూలాగ్రమైన ఆయన అంటున్నారు మీరు రక్షింపబడతారు be say meeru rakshimpa badtar we don't need to go to a church building to do that manam ala cheyadaniki alaya bhavananiki vellalsina pani ledu here tonight ee ratri ikkada undagaane it is not the name of the place you are standing that brings the salvation meeru nilabadda stalam rakshananu prabhavitam cheyadu it is the fact that you believe in your heart meeru ye hrudayamuto vishwasisthunnaro adi you confess what your mouth mee nodito meeru oppukunte adi that you sorry and you said to cry mimmunu meer christu ku swadhinam cheskunte reservedly adi meelo unte jesus is now your lord ipudu yesu meeku prabhu avtar is now your master ayane meeku yajamani ga untaru take the prize for your salvation ayane me rakshana kosamai vela vechinchadu you believe that meer danni vishwasisthe you confess that meer danni oppukunte says thou shalt be saved ayane nanu meeru rakshimpabaduduru then in verse 10 he tells us pado vachanalo em antunnarante for the heart man believes unto righteousness ayokka vyaktulu vaari yokka hrudayanusaramaga oppukoni neethi mantuluga teerchabadutunnaru and the mouth confession is made unto salvation vaari nodito oppukunnadi vaarini rakshanalodiki nadipistundi you believe in your heart meeru mee hrudayamulo vishwasinchara the righteous kristu neethi mantudu he takes away your unrighteousness ayana mee avinithini tholaginchi vestha he gives you his righteousness ayana meeku thana neethini anugrahistar you confess what your mouth mee nodito dani meer oppukunte that salvation is of the law rakshana prabhuvudi and he takes away your sin ayana mee paapal tholaginchi vestha and he gives you salvation ayana మీకు రక్షణను అనుగ్రహిస్తారు బిలీవ్ కన్ఫెస్ మీరు నమ్మండి ఒప్పుకోండి కన్ఫెస్ విశ్వసించండి ఒప్పుకోండి బిలీవ్ కన్ఫెస్ విశ్వసించండి ఒప్పుకోండి 
believe in your heart. When you believe in your heart, you never cannot tell what you are thinking in your heart. But your neighbor will know what you have in your heart when you confess what your mouth. That's exactly what is going to happen now. As you trust, as you believe, as you have confidence in the saving Lord. Behold the Lamb. Believe the liberator. And then you have the salvation of the Lord. And it's the time for the Lord to do it for every sincere seeker. Remember that salvation is for you now. The forgiveness is for you now. It's your personal decision that bring that salvation and that blessing of God to your life. It's bowed and eyes closed. You are making the personal choice tonight. You are believing in particular tonight. You behold the Lamb. He died for you. He made a sacrifice for you. You. And you say, I believe. I accept. I confess that Jesus is my Savior. If you are taking that decision now, so as to have the salvation of the Lord, wherever you are, you raise up your hand. You are here on the field. You are there online. Anywhere you are. The place does not matter. It's what you believe in the heart. It's what you believe in the heart. It's what you confess with your mouth. If you are doing that, you raise up your hand. Say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I surrender. Yes, Lord, I surrender. Yes, Lord, I give my heart to you. If you are raising up your hands, those who are raising up their hands, those who are making that decision right now, you stand up and let heaven see. This day, you make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Chetulu paygi chapin varu lechi nila badandi. Irozu na thandri mimali chustaru. Ayena nu miru prabuga cheskudna. As you are standing up, tell him, tell the Lord. Mirandar lechi nila badtu ayenta chapandi. I believe in my heart. Nenu na hurde mulo viswasis tunnanu. Tell him, I believe in my heart. Ayenta chapanda hurde mulo viswasis tunnanu. That Jesus died for me. Yesu na kosam maranin chadani. I believe in my heart. Na hurde mulo that Jesus has done the final sacrifice for my salvation. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is now the Lord of my life. I surrender unreservedly Unto Jesus, my Savior. I believe. I am saved. Come on, our pastor, Pastor W. F. Kumoye, the General Superintendent of the Palais Bible Church. It is my wish that as you listen, you accept the old world and you will let them sink into the, your hearts. And by the grace of the Lord, you will never regret it. It is my prayer that by next week, when our pastor shall come up again to present another message, you will be there, your family will be there, and your friends. And I believe as you are listening to the message every week, by the grace of the Lord, you will never be the same. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, because of today's message. We thank you, O oh Lord, because of the one you let us listen to last week, and the one we are going to listen to the next week. 
by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. If you tarry, we shall listen together once again next week. And if not, every one of us will be there with you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.